I need a drink of water for this. Oh. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And to those of you who are new, welcome to my channel. I am Meg B Beauty or Megan. And today I wanted to do my September favorites. I can't believe it's already September. It's crazy. It's actually almost October, which is even crazier. But fall is one of my favorite, favorite seasons, not only for Halloween, but also for the weather, you can wear sweaters. I mean, already I'm doing the off, off the shoulder vibes. Actually, I need to hit these shoulders up with some highlighter one time, you know, get a little, whoop, little sheen. Speaking of Halloween, I do have some really exciting ideas of some looks that I want to film. So please stay tuned for that. Before we get into the video, Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification button so that you can see when I post new videos. And then also don't forget to like this video, you know, give me some love. All right, let's get into the video. All right, so if you have been watching my videos, you have seen some of these products that I'm going to share with you today, but clearly they are my favorites because I use them so often. Up first is one of my absolute favorites of this month, and I feel like I use it almost every day. So first up on my list of favorites for September is this palette by Too Faced, Just Peachy. And if you have been tuning into some of my videos, you've noticed I've used this palette. And it's just because it's so great. I can't seem to put it down. The colors are perfect for fall. There's really good transition shades in here. and. You know, the formula of the eyeshadow is extremely blendable, really creamy, velvety, and I just am loving the cranberry look for fall. So as you can tell, I'm wearing it on my eyes today. And another feature about this palette that I love is that it's good for all skin tones. So it's definitely good to have in your collection of eyeshadows. It smells like a peach cobbler, which is super fun for those of you that are definitely into the sweets this is a super fun palette for you so as you can see the colors are matte extremely pretty colors that are versatile for the transition area but also you can pop some of these colors on the lid and you know do a very monochromatic look one of my favorite palettes at the moment and i love the size of the palette with the amount of shadows that are in it I find that when I travel, I like to have palettes that are pretty small and easy to pack. And this is one of those palettes that I feel I will have forever and just bring with me everywhere I go when I do travels. Next up is lashes. And for me, I do love lashes. I know some girls struggle with applying lashes or it's just not their thing, but let's be real, full lashes are gorgeous on anyone so if that is something that interests you guys in seeing a tutorial on i would definitely like to do a tutorial on applying false lashes and maybe that would be helpful for some of you i know for me when i first started using lashes it was extremely difficult but once you get the hang of it it is pretty easy so if that is something that you guys would want to see definitely comment below and I will consider filming that in the future. To continue on, my lashes at the moment that are my absolute fave are the House of Lashes Sephora Collection and these are the Natalia. Don't mind the packaging is dirty, it's because I've used these lashes probably so far six times, which is something that I love about lashes. You know, some of them can be expensive, but when you're paying for a good quality of lash, you can definitely get multiple uses out of them, which is nice. I'll take mine off, pick off all the glue, and then put them back in their case to keep them nice. And I found that these lashes go good with any sort of eyeshadow look. They are a little bit more dramatic, which I love, but 
full, which is definitely a good lash to have. I'm a little bit obsessed, so. So as you can see, my skin has this marvelous glow, at least I like to think it does. And I noticed recently for bronzer that my skin was starting to break out right along here. I don't know if you guys can see, but I would get these tiny little bumps everywhere where I would apply my bronzer. And I've never had that before, so it was super odd to me. I decided to get rid of my MAC Give Me Sun Bronzer. I don't know if it was that it was older. I mean, it's honestly new. I don't know. I don't know if it, what was happening, but my skin just was not reacting well to it. So long story short, I moved on to a different bronzer. And this is the Hula Benefit. It's just such a pretty matte bronze for the skin. And I found that for my skin tone, it works really well. I did read reviews on the bronzer and I noticed that a lot of girls were loving it just for the fact that it was really good for any skin tone. What's super cool too that I've noticed about this bronzer is they did release a light version, which is just a shade lighter than this one. And um, yeah, it looks pretty good. So if you're looking for a bronzer, I would definitely recommend this Hoola by Benefit. To kind of stick with the face of a blush that is one of my faves right now. And it is called Hot Flush by Sephora. And, but it looks more orange on camera than in person. But it's honestly kind of a more peachy, burnt orange color but on the skin it's a lot less vibrant. It's very sheer, but it kind of adds that nice pop of bronze to the skin, but with a little bit of color. So this blush is definitely one of my favorites right now. And I love Sephora's brand for blushes. They have awesome, awesome colors, and the pricing is really good. So definitely look into Sephora for blushes. And as you can see, my highlight is you know, gleaming today. As I'm using the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt highlighter. This highlighter is amazing. I find that I pick it up every single day and I just love the colors. It's really pretty rose gold, kind of a shimmery pink tone to it, but I love that it has the two colors. So you have this really, you know, sparkly shade and then you also have this more subtle highlight. So I find that this uh, subtle highlight is really good along the nose. And then the other one I do on cheekbones to really add a lot of glow. I just love this highlighter. I think she did an amazing job with um, the highlighters that she created. Moving on, I am a huge fan of Charlotte Tilbury's products. What I love about her products is she is all about the skin and really wanting our natural skin and glow to shine through, but also look, you know, polished and put together. So I have been using her Full Fat Lashes, and I love this mascara. I just love the wand, which I'll show you. It's kind of a more fatter wand, a little bit shorter, but it adds just the right amount of product on the eyelashes and creates, you know, lengthening, but also volumizes the lashes, which is kind of what I strive to go for. And this shade is in glossy black, probably a little bit pricier, but I will definitely put all the prices and the products of this video below so you guys can see. Also in my favorites is an eyeshadow primer, and this is by Urban Decay, and it's Primer Potion. It is kind of a neutral shade. So I find that when I apply it to the eyes, it just kind of tones out the, that redness or any sort of discoloration on my eyes and just creates a nice base for the eyeshadow. And I find that my eyeshadow sticks all day. I make it's really good reviews online, so which is why I picked it up. My sister actually recommended it to me, I think over a year ago, and I just recently decided to go ahead and purchase it. But I am finding that, you know, it's just one of my favorites lately. Um, I'm usually into MAC paint pots, but I've been finding that they dry up really quickly, so. 
how to move on to something new. So when I recently made my purchase through Morphe, I bought a bunch of new brushes. I also bought this little guy here. And this is the makeup sponge by Morphe. What I love about this sponge is the shape. I love how it has this flat edge on both sides and then you have this flat edge right here that allows you to kind of get underneath the eye. If you apply loose powder to this sponge and then dab it along the cheekbones, it really cuts out that contour, which is super cool. It's also really affordable, um, a lot cheaper than the Beauty Blender. So if you're looking for a sponge, this is a really great quality of sponge and the shape is really unique too and helpful. So, all right guys, that completes my list of favorites for September. Thank you so much for tuning in, you guys. It was a short and sweet video, but that's how I like it. Just short, sweet, and to the point. If you guys liked this video, don't forget to like it, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit that notification button to be notified when I post new videos, and look out for my Halloween tutorial looks that I will be posting soon. I love you guys and have a fabulous weekend. Love you.